What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. And um, don't get this wrong, this is not a rant video. Well, I mean, it is, but it isn't. But this is actually the answer to, I'm actually answering a question that was sent to me. Um, on one of my YouTube channels a while back that I just got. So with that being said, I will invite you guys and I will actually answer this question for you guys. Because I know a lot of people are wondering this and, you know, it's not just one person, it's a lot of people wondering. And so I figured why not come on here and answer this question and explain, you know, everything as a whole. All right, now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, you know, why it's so hard for me to make any question. Like I said, I had asked to me, you know, a few months ago on one of my older YouTube channels. Um, as you guys do know, I do have several, you know, for gaming, there's different stuff that I do. But this person asked, you know, like, hey, because they do follow me on social media. You know, they follow me on here, they follow me on YouTube, Instagram, everything. And one of the questions was, why are you not making any money doing any of the stuff that you do and that you're good at? Because you're obviously very, very good. And I'll tell you why. It's because nobody wants to give me a fair chance. And a lot of people tell me, hey, you know, you need to get a regular job and this and that. Well, this, me not getting a regular job does play into this because around here, because if you guys don't know, I did go to jail back in 2012. It was overnight. I got out. It, was, I, it went from a felony to a misdemeanor charge because of what I had done. It was my first time. But around here, because a lot of people are like, dude, you need to get a regular nine to five job. That way you can make money to do what you know you want to do. So you know you can invest in yourself. And that's the problem. That there lies the problem. Around here, people don't want anybody with a criminal record. They don't want it. They don't care if it's a misdemeanor or a first time offense. They don't care. They really don't give a shit. They do not want anybody with a criminal charge for whatever reason. I have tried for years to get a regular nine to five job and it just ain't happening because of my criminal record. Because of that one thing I did that fucked me up for a regular nine to five job. So what did I do? I turned to, you know, doing music, photography, film work, you know, gaming videos and stuff like that. But people ask me all the time, why is it that I'm not making any money doing it? And as I said, it's because nobody's willing to give someone like me who works hard at it a fair chance. They all want these people that you have to pay hundreds of dollars for and this and that. And it's people like that that, you know, think that they're better than everybody just because they got a lot of money. They're the people that ruin opportunities for those people like me who don't have anything. I'll be the first to admit, I've had to work harder than anyone to get to where I'm at in anything. Whether it be, you know, my music, whether it be my gaming videos, whether it be, you know, my photography, my film work, no matter what it is, I've always had to work harder than everyone. Because I did not graduate high school. I was not able to graduate high school because our principal is a racist. She's a black lady, and at first she was cool, but then I found out that she's racist, and that's a huge reason as to why I wasn't able to graduate, because she is a racist. And, like, you know, she does it to where she can get away with it. And around here, you can't just walk in and go for your GED. You have to pay, like, I think it's like 30 40 50 something dollars to take the test. And let me tell you something. I I did apply for Musicians Institute out in California just before I was supposed to graduate. I had applied. I got my acceptance letter back. 
And then I had to turn around and tell them a couple weeks later that I would not be able to, you know, make it out there to the school. I would not be able to go out to the college because of the fact that they screwed me over out of my credits, leaving me not able to graduate. And with me not being able to take my GED, because around here you have to pay for it, which is stupid as fuck. You know, I wasn't able to do anything. And that's when I got into, you know, learning how to build web. Well, I've been learning how to build websites since fucking, I want to say like my sophomore year of high school is when I started learning how to do web design. But, you know, people just aren't giving me a fair chance. And what's sad is a lot of these people that go to colleges and classes for this stuff, like, you know, for photography, for music and this and that, yeah, they're good. I'll admit that. Some of them do have good experience. But a lot of 99.9% of the people that come out of these classes don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's like they learn it and they know what they're doing during those classes. And then when it comes to applying it to the real world, it just all goes to shit. They completely forget everything that they've learned. I guarantee you right now, if you were to ask me what every single mode on this camera right now does, because this is a professional um, high-end DSLR camera, it's the Canon Rebel EOS T6, it's one of the high-end ones. If you were to ask me what every button, everything on this thing does, I could tell you front to back. Like, let me flip this on for you. And let me run through the menu, and I can tell you everything without even looking. Like, I'll have to look at the screen to see what one I'm flipping through. But, like, right now I have it in manual mode. That allows you to control every effect from the aperture, your shutter speed, everything. Next up, AV mode. Aperture priority, which means you're able to adjust, you know, your aperture, your shutter speed, stuff like that, and everything else is automated. TV, shutter priority, you're, you're able to control your shutter speed and how fast or slow the shutter goes. Everything else is automated. Uh, P, this is automated shutter speed and everything else that you can control, you know, certain aspects like, you know, what thing you have up, like what effect, stuff like that. Automated mode, obviously, scene intelligent, that's basically your autom that's standard automatic. You know, everything else is done for you. And then obviously you have your flash mode off, which keeps this down so you don't get any flash. Uh, creative Auto, this is Creative Automatic, you can, it does everything automatic, but you are able to have some creativity as far as what balance, like, you know, your white balance, what effect you want to use, like whether it's Sophia, black and white, you know, whatever effect you want to use, you can use that, but everything else is automated. Uh, portrait shots, uh, backgrounds are blurred. You know, that type of deal. Landscape. Uh, the foreground and everything like that is sharp in this when you use that. Uh, close up for close up small subjects such as flowers and stuff like that. Food, obviously, you know, for if you want to, if you're at a restaurant and you want to get some shots, you can do some food effects. Like you can get some really cool shots of food. And it'll come out really nice. I've actually done some there. It's actually really good. I know that was, I know this is sports. Um, you can get pictures of people running at high speeds. And, it, you know, I control it. You just shutter speed it. Uh, like I said, food for, uh, you know, culinary photography. You get certain shots. Make it look really nice. Uh, nighttime portrait, obviously for nighttime, 
you know, in the low light situations, like if I'm out doing some photos at night, you can do that. And then obviously, you know, your film mode, which is what I use a lot of the times for filming. Um, I do like to use the cinematic mode because I did learn how to do that. But there is that. And then I can literally go through every single one of these on screen and I can tell you exactly what every single one affects, how it affects it, what it does. And why? Because I took the time to study. I took the time to work my ass off to study stuff like this. Can I tell you something? Ever since I got, even before I got this camera, I was studying photography from my mobile phone, how to shoot proper videos, how to shoot cinematic videos, um, what parameters to use, how to do it, you know, properly. So it looks good. And that's the problem is that a lot of these kids that are coming out of these schools thinking they know everything, they don't know a goddamn thing. They say that they're a master just because they took the classes for this or that. But being a true master doesn't mean you just go to school for it. It doesn't come down to how much, you know, schooling you have or, you know, how much money you have. It all comes down to hard work and practice. I want to tell you something. I practiced. Every, I practice everything I do. Even to this day, I still practice photography. I still work my basics. I still work my basics for film work. I still work my basics for music. And yet, what do I get? Shit on. Why? Because I don't have any money. Because I'm not rich. And I can't afford these super high-end classes. And that's what a lot of big companies don't realize is that it's not about whether you've taken classes or not. In the bare end of it all, it doesn't. your classes don't mean a damn thing hardly. Yeah, they'll help you with some stuff. But ultimately, what true talent comes down to is practice. Just straight up practice. Yeah, at first you're not going to be that good. But the more you practice at it, the better you get. I want to tell you something. I've been doing video and photo work for as long as I've been doing music. Why? Because I've always, you know, been that kind of person to be in front of the camera, behind the camera. I've always been known to be that guy that just goes out and just shoots random photos. Even when my feet are fucked up like they are now, if you guys didn't see my post, uh, my feet are actually cracked to the point of bleeding. They're not bleeding right now because I got socks and they're fine. But... You know, even with that, I still go out and I still shoot videos. I still do photography. I still practice day and night, harder than most. And I've done practice with everything, building websites. You give me a fucking website idea that you want me to do. You still, like, let's say you're a music artist. Straight up, let's say you're a professional music artist. And you want a professional, a professional, simple website where people can go buy your merchandise from a certain site and everything like that. You send me all the links to, you know, your shop, your music links, your social media. I can link all that up and make a professional website for you within one to two hours. Easy. You want an album cover done? Give me five to ten minutes. Let me know. What, let me know what you need. Send me all the stuff. And I'll go from there. Some of the template stuff that you need and I'm good. You know, you want a good professional photo done? Meet me down here in Akron, Ohio. By Summit Lake. We'll go down, shoot some photos or wherever it is you want to go. And we'll shoot them. You want a good video done? Let me know. I'll grab my gear, throw it in my fucking camera bag and we'll take off. And you see, and that's why I'm not making any money is because people are so quick to overlook someone like me who has not taken any classes. Because like I said, you can take all the classes in the world that you want to take. But in the end, it doesn't come down to what you learned in class. 
the classrooms can only teach you so much. What it comes down to is hard work and practice. You could be in this shit for 18 years and not know a goddamn thing. Now I've come across people like that. They think that they know everything. They think that they know what they're doing, but really they don't know a goddamn thing. I asked them what, you know, shutter speed or aperture control is, and they can't fucking answer it. And I'm like, dude, you went to school for this shit. You should know more than I should. And yet here I am teaching you what you went to class for. And then you got you got those people, and then you have those that want to overcharge, which is it's sad because, you know, you got these people charging two hundred, three hundred dollars for a music video, which is stupid. Which if you want a music video for me, it's only thirty dollars. That's it, thirty bucks right there on the spot, or by PayPal. And that's another reason too that I don't make any money doing it is because nobody trusts fucking PayPal. They don't trust me enough to send me the money and then them come here you know they don't trust me to do that and that it's sad i could get a real job doing any of this stuff and yet i get looked at as if i'm worthless and i've put myself out there for years and everybody keeps telling me oh you know you'll get something you'll get something just keep going but that's not true. In the end of it all, it ain't about if somebody finds you. It's about your skill level. And a lot of people tell me I am very good, that I need to be making money, and you're right. You guys are very right that I do need to be making money. But what's not fair is that these people out there, they want to play dirty. And what I mean by playing dirty is they want me to do stuff for free. They want me to give them their product before they pay me. I'm sorry, but I'm a pay up front guy. You know, you pay me right then and there. We go out, we do what we need to do, and we're done. That's how I work. You send me the money now, then I do my job. I don't do my job and then get paid. No, I get paid up front. You pay me for my job, and then... You know, I do my job, just like anybody else. I'm not one of those people that you can just sit there and take advantage of. That's not me. I mean, seriously, if you want a professional website done that looks clean, sleek, nice, 20 bucks on the spot. You send the $20 to my PayPal. And then I do the website. You send me the links and stuff and send me the money to my PayPal. Then I will personally go in, make the website within one to two hours, send you it back with the finished product, which I can keep on top of. Or I can make it self-updated. Or if you want an app done, send me all your links. I can do that within five, ten minutes. Yo, Charles, what's up, dude? You know, like, you need an album cover done. Hit me up. Let me know. Ten bucks an album cover within ten minutes. Easy. You want a metal verse done. Or, you know, a melodic scream verse done. Or some vocals done. Five bucks a verse. That's it. Or if, you know, like I said, if you want some video or photo work done, you know, it's 30 bucks. That's it. You're getting a good deal. And yet, what do I get every time I bust my ass trying to do shit that I don't get at? I get run over by these fucking big shot idiots, or they think they're big shots. And like I said, you know, it doesn't always come down to money. It doesn't always come down to how much, you know, like how many classes you took for that subject. It comes down to practice and skill. Let me tell you I've been doing photography. I've been doing everything that I know how to do now since high school. Like, I started out making websites back in high school just for the fun of it, just to kind of see what I can do. I 
And then you got people that are like, oh, you know, you're not, that's not profit and that's not do. What you don't realize the way I run, I make profit. $30 straight up. That's making a profit. Or like with my custom clothing shop, a lot of people want 15 and under. Dude, I can't make profit off of that. See, what you don't realize is that when you buy from me, like let's say you want a good high-end shirt for $20. You know, you have me do the design. I put it up in the shop. You buy it for $20. I get a percentage of it. And then, you know, the company I go through gets a percentage of it as well. They get like 10% and I get like 30% of it or 50 or whatever. And then they send it to you. They have it made. Whatever money they take from the payment from me, they take. And part of that payment, they create the design. They create the shirt or whatever it is you're buying. And then they send it to you and they pay for shipping and everything like that. And then you can turn around and sell it for a low price. So really, it shouldn't matter how much you're buying from me. Like, I mean, if you're going to buy a shirt from me, it's $20. Straight up. $20 to $25. That's it. And then you could turn around and sell that for an even lower price. So, yeah, you're making a profit. It don't matter about who you buy it from. As long as you turn around and you resell it for a good solid price, you're good. What should it matter how much you pay for it? And that's the thing. It shouldn't matter how much you pay for an item. If you're looking to do a resell, dude, sell it for however much you want. I don't give a fuck. You can buy a shirt from me for $30 and turn around and sell it for 5 I don't care. But I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of not, you know, I'm tired of not being given opportunities that I know I deserve, that people know I deserve. Like, you know, every day I get asked why I'm not making it. And, and it's sad. It's because nobody's willing to be fair with me and nobody's willing to give me a fair chance at a real job doing any of the stuff I'm good at. And it's sad. Well, like I said, guys, if you guys do have any very real job opportunities for me in web design, you know, vocal verses, um, you know, gameplay style music videos, video work in general, photography, you know, album cover art, let me know. And then we can talk business. Or if you want to talk business as far as buying products from me, let me know and I'll send you my links to my shop. I actually have a couple, but the one Rage on shop is my main one. So like I said, guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And we will talk business. But I only do payments through PayPal or Facebook. I do not do payments by money order and shit like that. Because every time I do, the money gets lost in the mail. I've had that happen in the past. So like I said, if you want to pay me through Facebook, that's fine. If you want to pay me through PayPal, that's fine too. I don't care which. Either one, I don't care. But I will not sit there and be screwed over. Uh, you want to work with me? Do business the right way. But now you guys know, you know, why I'm not getting anywhere with anything I do. It's because I'm not being given these opportunities like I should be given when I've worked hard for them. Because, you know, I've worked super hard for these opportunities. Super hard. Harder than, actually a lot harder than anyone. And yet, what do I get? I get shit on, destroyed. I get laughed at. And that's how it is for me. Like I said, because I can't work a regular 9-to-5 job because of my record, 
and the way people are around here about my record, I can't work a regular nine to five job. So I have to turn to things that I know how to do, things that I know I am good with. How you want a video edited? 10 bucks a video edit. Let me know. I'll hook you up. Like I said, you want a music video shot, photo shoot done, 30 bucks. You want an album cover done, 10 bucks. You want a website done, 20. Or if you want to buy my t-shirts off of Ray John and then resell them for a decent price, let me know. But I'm tired of being fucked over by idiots. And it's because nobody trusts PayPal or Facebook to send me money. They all want to do this money order shit. And I'm sorry, I don't do money orders. Every time I do, it gets lost in the mail. Every time. That's why I turn to PayPal. That's why I turn to, you know, payments through Facebook. And I will not give you the product before you pay me. You pay me up front. I do my job. And then we're good. I work like a regular store. Okay? You're not just going to go up get the product and not pay for it. No, you're not going to get the product before you pay for it. You pay for the product and then you get the product. Plain and simple. Simple fucking concept. But yet, nobody wants to work like that. And it's sad. But now you guys know the truth about why I'm not getting anywhere. It's because of these motherfuckers out there thinking they can take advantage of me Fuck me over and look past me. All because they think they're better than me. But that being said, y'all, this has not been a rant or anything. This has been, you know, an explanation as to why I'm not getting anywhere with anything. Financially, I'm not getting anywhere. And I hope you guys understand now why I'm not getting any fair chances. But that being said, Love you guys. I might do some streaming on here later on. I don't know. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here, man. Peace.